The Seven Station is dedicated to the entrance to absolute nothingness, a breach in the city wall, and the second fall of Jesus. I love this station. They have a great story. As we ascend up the alley, we approach a small opening in the wall. This is where Jerusalem ends and a great void of nothingness begins. You will understand what I mean soon. Oh, you will. Outside the wall was Golgotha, a small outcrop of rock with gaping holes resembling a human skull. The passage was, was narrow, one person at a time, not a good place to fall. A cross was laid on its side. Today, there is a church right there. Then, it was like limbo. Christ is bearing the cross bravely. He knows where he's going. There were rules to follow. There was no burial inside the city walls. There are no executions neither. No lepers. It was an organized place, but outside the walls it was different. Many people never ventured outside. Definitely not after hours. It was very, very different. As though the surface of an alien planet. We always try and imagine being there as a supporter. The mob is following the prisoners. They are almost blinded by the bright light of the Friday noon sun. There are no shrubs for mile. Everything has been devoured by goats or used for fire. There are a couple of camels waiting for last minute transport. Jews will probably not travel on Friday afternoon. There are some slaves working in the quarry. By the smell of things, they probably live there as well. There are the usual lepers. Two blind beggar kids about six years old. Three Roman soldiers playing dice, watching the gate and quarry. A ginger cat, a strong smell of decaying flesh and death, death from both the grave sites and previous executions. A few camel drivers have made a little fire from dung and are heating something unrecognizable. And to this site, empty of life and love, enters Christ. Following him are the thieves, the three Marys, representing all that is good and noble. Then the disciples, each with his own compassion, each with their own fear and regret. It takes forever to get over the sickening smell of death. It seems as though everyone on the prosecutor's side has had enough. The cat is trying to move away. The blind twins are facing Christ, as if they know what's going to happen next. Joseph Ramatean is eyeing from a distance. The only sound is the wind and the settling of the white dust from the quarry. Even the slaves have taken a break. One of them starts coughing, and then silence again. Today, at the Seven Station, there's a medium-sized chapel. We often go inside and sing. There isn't a great deal there, just remains of ritual bath and some excavated parts of the Rock of Golgotha. As we enter, we are immediately transformed in time to the events that took place. The cat is still there. We're moving on in history. The next few chapters are not going to be easy. Take a break and please like and subscribe.